Here's how to win tic-tac-toe every time. Now, the key is if you're given the first move, then you always want to go in the corner. It doesn't matter which corner. Now, the opposing player can either play in the middle or in something on the border. Now, you are guaranteed to win if they play somewhere in the border. Now, if they play in the middle, the game will either end in a tie or you winning. Now, let's say you go first and your opponent's next move is on one of the edge pieces. Your next move, you will want to make that across the way from your original corner spot. So I'm gonna play here. Now, this will force your opponent to block this middle spot so that you don't get three in a row. So they will have to play this. So by putting across, you're forcing them to play here. Now, the key move to win tic-tac-toe every time is to play in the next corner. So, if you play your play here, they will, e they will have to block either here or here. Now, they can't block both in one turn because you could get three in a row going this way or you could get three in a row going this way. So, they'll either put their O here to block or here to block, but they can't block both. So you automatically win. Now, if the opposing player puts their O in the middle after you go first in the corner, what you always want to do is put your X in the opposite corner. So let's say your original X was here and they put the O here, you would put your next X here. Now, since they did the second turn in the middle, this is when it can end up in a tie. So, what, if they play their, you've gone across from them, if they play their next O on one of the sides, not the corner, the side, in one of these four spots, then it will end up in a tie. Let's see, it doesn't matter which one, but if they play their O in one of the sides, you'll be forced to play your X here on the opposing, on the opposite side um, to block you, to block them. And then they will have to block you by going here. And then you'll have to block them by going here. And then they'll have to block you by going here. And then you'll have to block them by going here. It just goes back and forth. Now, let's say you go first in a corner, any corner, and the O puts their O in the middle. You still want to always put your X in the opposite corner that you originally put your X if they play in the middle. Now, the game will end in a tie if they play on one of, this, one of these four sides, but it, you will always win if they put their O on one of the corners. So let's say they put their O on this corner. It could be either of these corners, but let's say put, they put their O on the corner. You will need to play your X here to block out, they have two, they could put a third there, so you'll have to block them by doing that. And now, once again, you're in a situation where, where they will have to play an O to block one of your spots. So they can't put two O's down, so you automatically win. They could put their O here, or they could put their O here, and you will be able to win. Now, what if you're going second? Let's say they put theirs in a corner first, because that's the smartest thing to do. You will have to do the things that force a tie. So you know that if you play in the middle next, it will end in a tie. Um, they will probably, if they're smart, they will put theirs O in the opposite corner. So you will either have to force a tie or just hope for that the O will make a mistake. So 
So far, they're doing everything right. They put it opposite of you. Now, you know that you will force a tie if you put your x in one of these three corners. So, if you put your x in one of the four corner or one of the four sides, then you will force a tie and cause a lot of back and forth. Like so. See, it ends in a tie. 